Once you've opened a PDB file, the structure view shows a graphical representation of the molecular structure. In this example, I'm looking at a kinesin molecule, which is PDB entry 1BG2. I'm going to highlight the locations of two features of interest, the ADP molecule and the relay helix. I'll do this by changing the rendering styles of the whole structure, then coloring each component of interest. First, I'll open the rendering bar, which is located in the style panel. If the rendering bar isn't visible, I can open it by going to the view menu and choosing rendering. The rendering bar has three drop-down menus, one for the backbone, one for the side chains, and another for the ligands and water. I'll start by showing what happens when I choose tube temperature for the backbone and invisible for the side chains. In the tube temperature style of rendering, the tube thickness is proportional to the B factor measured in X-ray crystallography experiments. High B factors, and therefore thicker tubes, are generally found at the outside edges of a molecule, which is what we are seeing here. However, for this example, I'm not interested in the B factors, so I'll instead change the backbone rendering to ribbon style, which is a popular style often used in journal articles. I now need to select the ADP molecule so that I can change its color. In the structure bar, which is located in the Structure Explorer panel, I'll select ADP from the list. You can see that the ADP molecule is now highlighted in blue here, as well as in the structure and sequence views. Now I'll open the color bar and I'll change the fill color to orange. If I then double click on the space surrounding the molecule, we can see the color change. Next I want to select the relay helix. This relay element is actually comprised of two separate helices plus the protein sequence between them. So instead of using the Structure Explorer to make my selections, I'll go straight to the Sequence view. I happen to know that the Relay Helix is located at sequence range 256 to 280. So I'll use my mouse to highlight this range. You can see that it is now highlighted in blue here in the Sequence view and also in the Structure view. Again, I'll go to the color bar, but this time I'll change the fill color to a medium blue. Finally, let's see what our changes look like using another rendering style. I'll change the backbone style to spheres this time. As you can see, this gives the structure a completely different look, while preserving our earlier color changes.